Hey, this is Jeff with Sunnyland Patio. Today I'd like to show you how to replace the sling in a Chase Lounge. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with this one, but uh, let's get started there. Welcome to our workshop. First thing we're going to need to do is to remove the old sling. So what we'll start out with first is getting rid of all these end caps, actually removing them in one piece so that we could save them and use them later. So what we'll want to do is just using the flathead screwdriver to slip that into the rail there, right in between that and the cap, and then just pry out, you know. Be a little careful so you don't end up breaking these. Uh, if you do, we do have replacements for a lot of different kinds as well too. Now that we've taken all those end caps out of the uh, the corners, and then I did take it out of the bottom of the rail of this one too, because that's where I'm going to slide the fabric up into it in a minute. Uh, so we'll take this in two separate sections, the seat portion and the back portion, because it's done a little bit differently. So first let's get this uh, set up on its side so we can get to the hardware and get this thing up. First thing I want to do in this case is I'm going to take off this whole back unit and get it out of the way. Uh, we'll come back to it after I get it apart. So I'm going to just slip this hex head bit that's in the drill. Alright, so I have the one side off now. I'll work on getting the other side of the hardware done. That one came off a little easier, didn't it? Alright, so we'll pull that out of the way. Make sure you save all your loose parts there they come in handy later on instead of trying to find them then so then we'll uh got the back off of the unit so we're going to take that and set it aside all right next what we're going to do is release the hardware that's going to hold one of the side rails onto the unit here so uh we only need to remove one rail because uh, that'll make it so that it's loose and we can install and remove the sling easily so first i'll just take out the four screws that are holding this on So now we're going to remove the uh, the old fabric from the chair. First we'll just slide this one off this rail and then I'll, uh, I'll take it off the other side. Alright, so now we also need to take the fabric out of the back portion. This one has kind of these spring braces like this. Uh, so what I like to use are these these clamps uh, available at the hardware store. We're just gonna put them a little, a few inches from each end of the, uh, the back of the lounge and uh, that'll loosen this. Once I compress them, it'll loosen this and it'll give me the ability to, uh, to pull that fabric out of there. So first I'll just open it up. I'm gonna lay this in. Clamp down a little bit till you can see it's loose. No reason to go uh, over tightening. Sometimes that can actually uh, work the frame a little bit. So you want to do just as much as necessary, nothing more. So we're seeing that that's pretty loose now. So now we can get it out of there fine. So then we're just going to remove this. So the dowels you've removed also, that's another measurement you'll need to take. A lot of times if you... Uh, have a drill bit that size, you can put that next to it and kind of identify what the uh, the width of the spline is. We offer two different sizes, 7 30 seconds and quarter inch, and you can pick that out when you're uh, giving the measurements for your slings there online. Presto, our slings are in. Now let's get them installed. So let's put our back back onto the bench there and work on it because we already have the clamps on it. So uh, I've just left those on. Uh, if you need to, squeeze them a little tighter. All right, and then we're gonna feed that spline into each side. So we just gotta kind of twist it and get it started into that edge. And then on the other side, the same thing. We're just gonna get it started in there. And then we should be able to pull this up into the rail. 
sometimes it gets a little stiff, but we're just uh, having a good smooth time on this one. Um, get that pulled up. And again, don't over tighten, the, you know, those clamps if you can help it there, just so that they don't uh, make the, the frame bend and stay bent. All right, so we've got that straightened out. Make sure that you're good and straight before you release those clamps. You want to make sure that you've got your uh, your fabric all the way to the edge of the rails so that it looks nice when it's done. And then we're going to release the clamps. And we've got a nice sling, tight sling again here. This will tighten up even a little more once we put these hardwares back on to the, uh, the base frame. We're going to set this aside for now and we'll come back to it next. All right, so now let's get the seat installed here. So we've got our loose rail and uh, I'll just hold this up, make sure I have the top edge of the fabric in place. And then uh, I'll just slide. And then I'm gonna slide it into the loose rail first. Just get that edge started. All right, so now we've got it started. We're just gonna slide this on down. Feeding it with the right hand and pulling with the left. And get it all the way down. And then to the other rail that's affixed to the chair. Sometimes that's a little easier because it's not all trying to get away from you. And we'll slide this in next time. Again, you know, it takes a little feeding with the other hand to get that to stay and going into the rail nicely. And we'll just pull it on down. And again, make sure we're good and straight at the end here too. So now we've got this all in, we'll pull it tight, get out whatever wrinkles we can at this point. And uh, then what we'll do is now we need to tighten down the rail. So I'll turn this around. All right, so next we're just gonna put on these four bolts. So uh, you can get it started great, you know. Alright, so let's get the back installed again. Alright, so we're just going to wrap this around where it's in position. This one has a nut here. It's not really that common, uh, but it, each model will vary. So it kind of holds that, th that hardware in place a little for you at this point. We'll hold it there and get this one on. All right, and then we need to get our other side on next. So what I'll do is I'll uh, put this on, get it started, and then we'll move it over to the hole. So I'm just putting that through, have these little nuts here. If, you're, if your lounge does not have these nuts, uh, they certainly are not necessary. Um, so don't bother adding them later. And we'll get this added on to the here now. All right, so we've got this in place. Now I'll just finish tightening it down. So we've got our sling in, just about done. All we need to really do now is uh, is finish putting these end caps back on and uh, we should be good to go. All right, so now let's put our end caps back in here. So I have those snips and then the old end cap here as well too. So I like to just grab that little piece of the spline, give it a little pull, pull it about an eighth of an inch out or so and then cut it flush. That'll help you make sure that you got it flush afterwards and put the cap on. So then we'll just set the cap into place and then finish tapping it in with the hammer. And then repeat, we're gonna do the other side of the, uh, the bottom of the back here and then the, all the end caps next. Looking good. We're all done now. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Remember to check out the links in the description if we can help you with any of the parts you might need, the feet caps, end caps, or slings. I do again appreciate you watching and we'll catch you next time.